Okay, so tell me, tell me what this story is about. Okay, so basically, it's a young lady telling the story. It's about um, her family, her, I guess her brother, her father, and her mother. And um, uh, unfortunately, the boy, his name is Kofi. He he he's a student. He's a young teenager. He's a young teenager of yeah. 17 years and then yeah. I think um, he stole his yeah. mom's jewelry. Yeah. Just to the he stole his mom's jewelry and he sold it at a very cheap price. Yeah, he stole her mom's jewelry and he sold it at a very cheap price. And so uh, according to him, according to the lady telling the story, Kofi's mom asked him why he sold it during how much he sold it. So when Kofi told him, his mom about the price he sold it, the mom was so surprised and so disappointed. Because maybe the jewelry was very expensive as compared to how Kofi sold it. And um Kofi stealing the jewelry wasn't his sole research idea, but then due to peer pressure from school. According to the story. According to the story. According to you, have you experienced anything like that? Stealing my mom's jewelry. Yeah, maybe you stealing it. Another person stealing it. Any, any, any of that kind of story. Okay, for me, I haven't stolen it from my parents No. Never. Honestly. <laughs> There's no need for me to tell lies. I but it because it looks like you're telling my head being a story from the organization. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. It's either they dash it to me or they tell me to go for it. I That's haven't nice No, I don't take it on my own will. Okay. Yes. Cool. Taking it without their consent is stealing. Okay. Yeah. So the next piece of the question is um, Tell us your relationship with dancing. Why did you dance? It's like, what made you end up dancing? Okay, so dancing. Dancing started when I was in very young. Anytime I hear music or um, any beats form of like, I feel like moving my body. Yeah, it started when I was very young around um, eight, ten years. So I, I I started dancing for people to see when I was in my senior high school. So that we, we formed a, a dance crew. We used to dance to gospel, every other song, gospel, Afro beats, and all the songs. Basically dancing, it makes me happy. When I dance, I'm so happy. And um, I continued from there till now, I'm still dancing. Okay. Have you danced for any music videos or anything? Or yes. Which music video? I danced in um, Kelvin Boy featuring um, Ambly, Nobody. Okay. Yeah, watch Nobody. Okay. And uh, I danced in um, Ichok, uh, what do you call it? Not a car. No. Okay. Not a car, Ichok. Not a car. It's a message. You haven't heard that? Okay. Yeah. And I've danced a couple of videos that show me how to do professional dancing or video fixing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Um, how did you learn to dance? Okay, as I said earlier, I didn't learn from anybody. Okay. I didn't learn from anybody. So, what I learn now is when a new dance comes up, then I try to learn from people, from okay. videos or something, to okay. add up to what I can do. Yeah. Tell us um, about a significant event in your life that has had an impact on your choice to this day. Okay, significant impact. Yeah, like in your life, at what point in time you made a significant choice that has had a great impact on your life now, right now? Okay, so um, I can still base on the dance. Yeah, and, and you could be dancing. Yeah. 
because this dance has led me to meet prominent people I never thought I would meet. I even spoke to some of them. Actually, I have one art with Nana um, Mama Okay. Yeah, I'm so scared. So this dance, it was the same dance that they required to the director and he selected me to have that opportunity to dance with my mama in that video. So it's yeah, it's been a, that is a very significant impact. Alright. Great. Um, what do you think about love? About what? Love. Love. Yeah. Love or don't. I want to get it clear. Yeah. <laughs> As in, right now. Yeah, right now. What do, you think? <laughs> what do you think? And then, apart from what you think, what do you expect if you were in a love relationship? What do you expect? If I'm in a relationship, mm -hmm. what do I expect? Yes. Okay, so. So, the first question is what do you think about it? And then, if you find yourself in there, what is your expectation? Okay, so love. <laughs> love is even in the Bible. <laughs> you see, I if see. yeah, so <laughs> if you are a human being God created, automatically you should have some kind of feeling for other people. And it's it's natural for the opposite sex to like have some affection for each other. What do you think about love? I know what you're talking about, yeah. like what you're telling me. Yeah. What do you do? I think I think love love is meant to be. Yeah. I think everybody is supposed to love and to be loved. Okay, so in a relationship, what do you expect in the from your boyfriend or in the what okay. do you expect? I shouldn't expect anything much because so the little that you need to expect then. Okay, so basically you should make me happy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. In any any way, anyhow, I should just be happy with you. Anytime I meet you, I should be so cool. Get it? I should get that kind of relationship, very cool relationship with you. Do you have it now? What? Do you have it? No, I'm not in a relationship currently. No. Why not? <laughs> because I've not made up my mind yet. I'm, I'm searching. <laughs> Someone is a little friendly. Yeah. What annoys you the most in the world? Disappointment. Like when, not when you promise, but when you say something you do for me and you refuse or maybe forget or you fail to do it. I'm so angry. I get so angry. Okay, so you mean. Um, an instance that that happened and your reaction to it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you promised me to buy me a phone. You know I need a phone for my my presentation, my social media, and those like. And you know about it. It's different when you don't know what I'm going to use, what you are getting from me for. Like this one, you know, and you fail to get when you told me you get it. Yeah, so that's what happened. But yeah, that was what happened. Yeah, that was what happened. But I didn't really react. I was just annoyed. Very, very angry. Okay. Um, is there any question you would like to ask me? Or just something more you'd like to say? Because we're moving to the next. The next. Okay, so. Um, okay. It's a question. So I want to ask, um, this is a dance, casting for dances, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Is it really necessary to um, go through all this? Very necessary. And why? Why? Because um, the very first stage that you guys went through okay. was you submitted your dance videos. Yeah. So it means the busy thing that the lead cast or anybody who's supposed to be part of the production is supposed to have is the ability to dance. Okay. That's the first stage. Yeah. And then you guys got selected because we've seen you guys dance and know you guys can dance. Yeah. The next step is this one, which we need to see the people behind 
okay. of that thing. Okay. And also to know if they, there's a way they react to other situations rather than just the dancing. Okay. Because it's film, acting, they say it's a meditation of life. And we we'll do more in our lives than, than dancing. Right? So that's the reason. Very amazing. Exactly. We need to get more from who we are going to work with and um, yeah, see what other things are hidden without. Uh, um, aside the dance. Yeah, aside the dance. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, that's a really good step. Okay, cool. So we're going to move to the next. And please, can I ask one more? Yeah. What's the name of the production? The production company? Yeah, the company. It's Bunny Production. Bunny? Yeah, Bunny Production based in France. Okay. And I am Ella Egan. Okay. Representing the Cape Town. Okay. Yeah. So we go three, two, one, action. Really? You want me back? Well, to me, I just can't be in this relationship anymore. Even though I still love you, but what you did really hurts me. And honestly, I have to tell you the truth. I have to move on with my life. I'm so sorry. But that is my decision for now. Yeah. I wish you so well. 